is cold out today. But not in the greenhouse, though. And it's already afternoon. I didn't film this morning. But we're filling up some trays for some cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kohlrabi. So that's what I'm doing right now. Clean off all the dirt. There we go. And we take one of the trays, we put it on top of the other one. Get lined up just right and then squish it down. Now the reason why we push the trays down is so we have nice little holes for each of the seeds to fall in. Then we just cover them right up. We got all the trays finished. But now I'm gonna show you what we did this morning. And here it is. We planted some parsley, basil, some lettuce, many different types of lettuce. I think you've seen us plant lettuce before, but we do it in plantings because it grows so fast and we don't want it to just get old on people because then it, they won't buy it to plant it. So we start new lettuce every couple weeks. Come to think of it, I don't think I've showed you guys the onions in a while either, have I? <laughs> want to see them? Do you want to see them? Here they are. We've got many different types of onion. We've got a candy onion. That says red. Those don't look red. But if we come down here, these are starting to turn red. I hope we didn't make a mistake. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. Uh-oh. I think we have a leak. Or a few thousand leaks. Guess who just showed up? My dad. Seeing what I have to plant. What do we have to plant? We've got kale. Spin are we planting spinach too? Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me about this. He forgot. Okay, we got kale, spinach, cabbage, this is kohlrabi, cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. And I just realized my camera's uh, camera was not in the right setting, so if it looks differently now, that's why. But maybe you can't tell, and maybe this has no point in being here. Okay, we got all the trays we need. Now Dad's gonna turn the vacuum on and we're gonna start seeding. And just that easy, my dad planted 512 plants of kale. done with the cedar but now we're filling these trays called 801s what are we planting dill like in your pickles dill you got our dill seed show them how you plant it dad How many jars of dill pickles do you think he could make with all that dill? Uh, 473. 473 jars? Yep. Man, this guy is good. There we go. We have all the dill covered now. Two cilantro, two green leaf, two romaine, 
my dad's writing down what we planted. Two basil, so that we can remember for next year. We write the date, uh, when we planted everything, so we know we're not behind or too far ahead. One red basil, so I'm just reading the names off to him and he's writing them down. Because of this germination greenhouse, basically every one of these seeds will come up. And we planted over 20,000 seeds just this morning. And that's only a little bit of what we go through. Because this is all for sales. These are going to be for our customers. We're going to portion, portion them out into different trays. And people are going to buy them and plant them in their garden. So this is just 20,000 seeds this morning for people to plant in their own gardens. Do you have any farming tips for the people? Yeah, it's too early to plant right now. It's snowing outside. What if people live in different parts of the country? There is no part of the country but this part of the country. We're all done in the germination greenhouse. Now we're going down to plant peppers or tomatoes. I'm not sure. We're just transplanting them. And here we are. In the last video we were planting tomatoes. Filled all along that side. So now we've got peppers. I'd rather do peppers today than tomatoes. We're back down in the greenhouse transplanting. And guess what? There's Matthew! So what we're doing right now, I just got done filling some more trays up. We're planting bell peppers. And here we got quite a few. And we can see over here, they're transplanting. We originally thought we were gonna do peppers and then da dad changed his mind to tomatoes, but the tomatoes weren't coming out of the trays. They were just breaking off. And you can, you can plant them. We didn't want to keep breaking the tomatoes, so we switched over to bell peppers. Now dad, when you're planting your bell peppers, can you break the roots off? No. What about tomatoes? Tomatoes, it's not, you don't want to break the roots off, but if you do, they will regrow new roots. Peppers will not. You guys are getting so many farming facts. But we're planting bell peppers, and then I think that's all we're going to have time for today is planting bell peppers. So I'll give you some cool action shots of plant. I wonder if there's a way I can make planting more dramatic. What do you think, Dad? Is there a way we could make planting more dramatic? No. What if I added slow-mo and a chase scene music? I don't know what that means. was intense. We're in here planting in this beautiful tropical weather. We have all these plants over here looking so amazing. And then we look outside and it's snowing like crazy. Matt's counting how many flats we have here. He has to go get tags. These are all bell peppers for sales. 806s, the packs. We have some singles here, and even a few six inch pots. That's not a lot, we're just trying something. So we're going to get tags for these now. All right, I'm going to get tags. This is not my forte, so bear with me. It takes a minute. Matthew just got back from getting tags. So now he's tagging everything. But we moved on to a different type of pepper. We're doing the Italian sweet peppers now. So all we have to do then is finish this flat of Italian sweet peppers and I think we're done then. We have to wash potatoes. Oh, then we have to wash potatoes. We're all finished planting today. We've got all our bell peppers tagged. Matt's working on the Italian now. So we're all finished with planting and today we planted over 20,000 plants. Oh yeah, you heard right. 20,000. But anyway, we're done in this greenhouse, so we're going over to wash potatoes.
If you can see me because it's dark we're gonna put the fan on the potatoes and turn it on so it dries them off and we're heading up to the store wash your hands be very safe because we want everybody to be okay and subscribe there we go. can you hear me with my mask on kind of <laughs>